Hey team, how are you? We are about to head out the door. Teddy is in his pram, refusing his coat. Teddy, put your coat on. Yeah. So this week I have cut my left ankle open, fell down the stairs and broke my fall on the closed wooden stair gate with the use of my right foot, hurting my toes and all up the side of my body. Uh, I have not seen another adult since Sunday because we had a week of play dates set up for Monday and Wednesday, today being Wednesday, and both have been rained off. Yeah. What that? It was thunder and lightning. Oh my god. even though there's no rain today and because of that i just need to get out the house for a little bit so we are heading up to the shops to get a few bits and pieces and let's add in that mr teddy has been waking up at around 2 a.m to start his day the last two or three days so you know rolling with it rolling with it having said that this week i have got a fair few things done in terms of home i have scrubbed scrubbed the kitchen floor and steam mopped it and we ordered some towels for albie dog because winter is coming and we want to try and keep on top of the mess um i have also done a little bit in the little room want a chop chop pop we best go shop then babes can i have two minutes to finish my chat i've also done a fair bit made a start on a little room my plan was to go through the pile of clothes and sort it into sell get rid like donate you know those all, all those piles i did the piles we didn't get much further than the donation pile has gone other than that but we still got some week ahead of us. We still got time. In terms of HDDC, I have called for the testers on Frilly and actually started that test. So welcome to Team Frilly. I also tried uh, posting in a different group for that one. So I found some new to me testers as well, which is really cool. And I had a decent amount of signups to that test. So all in all, I'm feeling quite upbeat about that. Another great result this week is my income on YouTube is up. So my best month so far this year was May and now September is my second grade here. So it's paying off. Small steps, but it's paying off. I have had two signups to the HDDC sub squad, which is... Very, very encouraging. I have been ramping up my marketing, being very focused, very intentional, spending a lot of time getting back into marketing and admin and customer relations and seeing it pay off in the first seven days. So thank you to Zoe and Helen for becoming my latest sub squad signups. Right now, we are going to get out and head to the shops. Of course, I'll take her along with us. Later this afternoon is one of my work days, and I have got quite a bit on my to-do list, actually. Let's head to the shop. I will show you all the vloggy bits. I've also been taking vloggy bits throughout the week with all the different weather and different bits and bobs we're doing. So I'm going to pop that all in, and I'll see you back here later on to get tonight's, this afternoon's to-do list done. 
You ready to roll, Teddy? Yeah, let's go. So this is Teddy's new tray. We do wipe it at the end of each day, don't we, Teddy? And you've got your cereal snack and your wafers. Do you love your tray? No, um, that's that one. Yeah, you've got your water down there. It normally goes in here, but we've put it beside you. Do you love your tray? Yeah. Yeah. You think it's cool? Yeah. Helpful? Yeah. You glad mummy got it? Yeah. Should we go to the shops? Yeah. Get there, mummy, Let's go. Oh, I got that. Oh, mummy, get it. You ready for the bumpy ride? <laughs> You see them jumping about. A lake in the middle of the. Are you okay? Careful, Bradley. Oh. What's that? There's so much water. It doesn't show up on the camera as bad as it is. It's red. It looks quite clear when obviously visibility is not great. You like that? I've got a new sub squatter. Yes! It must be working. It must be working. I actually swapped my work day this week to accommodate some other plans that I had. And I came up here to get some work done and I sat down and I was like, I cannot do this. Like, I can't do this. I can't. <laughs> I am just done today. My brain is done. I'm just like on my butt. Exhausted. Flat out exhausted. The amount of wake ups in the last few days have been untrue. Like this cannot be. Disclaimer, not looking for advice. Just telling you what's going on today has just been... not the one nope 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 it's tough like i'm on the go all day long laundry cleaning up and prepping meals for us and then feeding us and cleaning up the food that didn't quite make it into his mouth and <laughs> hang out some more laundry and take us out for a walk into the park and go and pick up a couple of bits that we need and maybe go to a play date and organise everything that you need to get there. There's the back and forth chat and then there's the emotions to regulate. When, my, when it gets to this stage in the day and my brain is frazzled, it's really hard to like, it's just hard, it's just tough, my brain isn't working. And then I can sit and crochet but then the rest isn't getting done and I'm not... Mm. Then if I stay up all hours when Teddy is asleep, then I get tired and like, when? When do I fit all of this in? The only thing keeping me on track right now is my planners. I've picked up my planner again and I've begun using it again because there's a reason why I designed these and I kind of slipped out of using them. And I picked it up again at the start of September and at the start of each week, I plan out what I'm going to do at the week. Like a realistic plan that I can actually get done with the time I've got. It's the only thing keeping me on track.
I know, I know, I know I've just moaned at you for like 10 minutes about how tired I am and how things feel tough. But at the same time, I'm so thankful to pass me for putting in these little like systems almost, these little habits that mean that when I come to do these tasks, they're not painful. But I don't need to think as such because the task that I'm going to do is set out. It's 4 p.m. Bedtime is in about four hours time. I get as much done as I can until I'm required for bedtime. And I'm gonna go to bed with Teddy. I can have the same bedtime. Hopefully get a fair to middling amount of respectful sleep. <laughs> feel a bit better after this chat. I feel myself coming back alive. <laughs> Let's get a few bits on Bob's done. First up, I'm going to do the photos because I have to have to get them done. It's the only thing that I can't really do once it's dark or once Teddy's home. I'm back team and Teddy and Brad have nipped out. Whilst I was out with Teddy, I found this. This is a glitter pink. It's from a shop called One Beyond and it's the pocket sparkle yarn. And this one is like full on Barbie pink, darker than that. And then I also got this one, which is the midnight blue. Do they have colours on them? It is called Midnight. And this one is called Bright Pink. Got them spot on without even checking. Um, so, just checking to see what you can see behind me. Um, today's crochet time. I'm going to make some granny squares out of these. I always, always keep an eye out. I check all of like the local shops. I'm always checking for new colours because I add these to my DK stash for when I make my granny squares. Because the more colours I have, the more I can make it look like I've... You know, I like that scrap random look when actually I've spent ages picking the colours. What do you think? Which one's your favourite? The pink or the blue? Hey team, it is now Thursday. Similar outfit, but different day. So last night when I left you, I'd sat down to get some work done and you saw me pick up my laptop and then um, I got a little bit done. Teddy and Brad returned and from that point on, I didn't get anything else done other than to post on Instagram and to post on YouTube to let you know that there was gonna be a bit of a delay. I was, re I was needed during bedtime bath time i was needed from bath time to be honest and he actually point blank refused his bath he was just so exhausted 
and he was asleep by 7 p.m. And I came down, Brad and I did a couple of things we needed to get done around the house and I was trying to get the vlog finished and I just knew that by the time it was finished it would be so late in the evening that it wouldn't even be posted until the following day. So I made the decision to post on my community board that I'm so, so sorry I missed my upload date, um, my upload schedule, but it'd be with you the next day. And I went and took an early night with Teddy, early-ish, in anticipation of him starting his day really early. You can't plan for them. They happen when they happen, you have to roll with them. And this week I've just been rolling with it. Today was much, much better in that Teddy started his day at 5 a.m. And today I don't normally do any work. It's Thursday evening. I'm gonna get this vlog finished for you. It's a little bit ironic that I'm there saying I've gotten so much done and then I had to pause or delay my vlog going up. But I still stand by that I have gotten so much done. And if it wasn't for my planners keeping me on track, I uh, this week would have been one of those weeks where I'd be like, I just can't do anything and I will deal with this when I'm not so tired, when, you know, when the stars align type thing. Because of my planners, I have managed to just do the very bare minimum and keep everything ticking. And for that, I'm really grateful because I'm seeing I'm seeing the payout from how the re regular, I can't even say the word, regularity of posting. I'm not going to say consistency because that was a bit overdone now, isn't it? I've had so much clarity in my business and the steps that I want to take and I have made so many decisions. I am doing so much planning in the background and prepping. I really want to bring out a YouTube membership and on that membership it will have that'll be where i split my audience so to speak so hgdc youtube the free content will be granny square everything crochet everything and the membership will be more for the those that are interested in the business side so Maybe you are a business owner. Maybe you want to turn your crochet from a hobby into an income stream. Maybe you're just interested in what it is that I do in terms of like marketing, how you pu publish a pattern, all of those things. And so that's where all of that content is going to be. It's going to have the income reports. It's going to have updates on what I'm implementing within my business, the skills I'm learning, the books I'm reading how I'm increasing my income, how I'm increasing my reach, how I'm, you know, everything, my goals, all of that. And that's a place that I can put that. And obviously that's also linked to much longer term plans that I've had brewing in my mind for quite a while. So excited to share all of this with you. I'm so excited to see it all come together. At the start of this week, I actually wrote myself a letter and I'm going to read some of that. In some of the unused pages on my planner, I write myself little notes. I've just discovered one now and I wanted to share it with you. Dear me, I want you to know how proud of you I am. You're an entire village to Brad and Teddy. Attachment, responsive, gentle parenting requires almost all of your time and energy. You're doing the most to heal from your traumas and make different choices for your family as a wife and a mother. Right now, Teddy needs you a lot. The night wake-ups will stop one day and you'll sleep more than 30 minute stretches. Keep pouring into him. This is for the long-term gain for Teddy Ray. Amongst parenting, wifing and lifing, you've picked yourself up and committed to HGDC. Keep going. The income, the financial security, the freedom, the travels, the nice-to-haves is coming. Be proud of you. So... If you are deep in the trenches of all of this, you're not alone. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I know it is a smoosh of all different things of motherhood, running a business. It truly has been an inside HDDC vlog. And hopefully it's given you a little bit of an insight of our, of my life, of our family life. And hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this vlog with me. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
I'll speak to you very, very soon. Oh, got caught in a tree. I'm okay, baby.